friends. Today we are turning trash into treasure. We are celebrating Earth Day by creating some art out of things that you might throw in the trash, like an egg carton. So to get us inspired to create these wonderful creations from trash, I'm gonna read a story that my girls loved when they were younger. It is one of our favorite book characters, Pinkalicious, and she's back for another story. This time it's called Emeraldlicious, and it's a lot of fun. Let's read it. Emeraldlicious by Victoria Kahn. I was strolling in the park with my brother, Peter. Suddenly, I tripped on a rock and fell, breaking my tiara and wand. Oh no, look at your wand. You never go anywhere without it, said Peter. What are you gonna do? I have an idea. I'll make a new one out of this stick, I said. And you can use these vines, said Peter. And that flower, I said, pointing to a plant I had never seen before. I love you, pretty wand, I said, kissing the wand. The wand began to sparkle. Wow, did you see that, said Peter. Are you a magic wand, I asked, and the wand flew out of my hand. Come back here, I yelled. The wand did not listen to me. I am Pinkalicious, the princess of Peak, and I command you to return to me. The wand paused and then flew farther up the path. Maybe it isn't listening to you because you don't have a crown or a cape like a real princess, said Peter. You're right, I said. I picked some flowers and made a crown, and then I tied leaves together and wove flowers to make a cape. I am the princess of flowers, I announced. When we turned the corner, I found the magic wand on a pile of garbage. Yuck, said Peter. It smells. I reached for the wand, but it flew up into a tree. What a sad tree. Its leaves are dropping. I climbed the tree and grabbed my magic wand. This is where we had picnics. What happened? asked Peter. This used to be my favorite park, I said. Suddenly there was a loud crack. The tree swayed and the branch that I was sitting on broke. I fell to the ground with a thud. Ouch. Humph, I need a chair. I waved the magic wand and said, buckets, bow tie, and bones. All this garbage makes me groan. What I would love is a pretty throne. Garbage started flying through the sky and then magically transformed into a throne. Did that really happen, I gasp? Wow, you should make a castle, said Peter. Make a castle, I commanded. Nothing happened. What a silly wand, I said, and I threw it to the ground. The wand sparkled. It has to work since it worked before and made a throne, insisted Peter. Hmm, what did I say when I made the throne, I asked Peter. Peter giggled, imitating me in a high-pitched voice. You said, what I would love. Look, Peter, when you said love, a little flower bloomed. Love, I whispered, and another flower opened. Love, I said again, and a third flower blossomed. Suitcase, snorkel, stinky shoe, I love pink, purple, and blue. Make me flowers in every hue. I waved my magic wand and flowers grew out of the ground. Hey, how did you do that, asked Peter. It's easy. Take the wand and describe what is around and ask for what you want with love and make up a rhyme, asked P said Peter. Watch me, I said. Grapefruit, girdle, and a glove. Make a place filled with love. Bring in birds from up above. Gar garbage started flying in a million directions and colorful twittering birds appeared. Let me try, Peter begged and quickly said, television, towel and tassel. I'm a prince who loves his castle. Please make me one without a hassle. A castle appeared. It works, it even has a moat. 
It took the garbage and made a castle. I can't believe it, said Peter. Wow, what else can we make? I know, I said. Telephone, teacup, and twine. I'd love a dress that's really fine. Take this trash and make it mine. Right before my eyes, a beautiful new outfit was made. Now I'll make something for you, Peter. Hairbrush, hanger, harp, and heel. What I love is this old wheel, I said. Recycle it into a boatmobile, finished Peter. Let me do it. This is fun, Peter said, grabbing the wand. I want to make a cookie candy cupcake ice cream machine that makes different flavors of sweets every 10 minutes and a robot to clean my room and then a great big rocket. Peter, come back here now. I'll share it with you, but it's my turn and I have a really good wish. Let's fix this garbage dump, I said. It sure is ugly and stinky. Detergent, donut, and dirty dishes. Pinkalicious loves her wishes. Make this place emeraldlicious. I waved my magic wand and the dump transformed into a green atastic garden. Just then, there was a gust of wind. The magic wand broke apart and filled the sky with sparkly seeds. Oh no, what are we going to do without the wand? We can't make things happen anymore, Peter cried. The magic is gone. Don't worry, Peter. We still have everything we need, I said. We have these seeds, and with a little love, we can make the entire world emeraldlicious. And that would be greenerific, said Peter. The end. Hi guys. So we're going to take a our inspiration from Pinkalicious today and we're going to create art out of materials that we otherwise would recycle or throw away. Sometimes that's the best art because you're using the resources that you have. So today I have a cardboard egg carton, a empty toilet paper roll, and some newspaper. And here's what we're going to do. The first thing is, we're gonna turn all of these into flowers, sort of just like how Pinkalicious had some flowers um, in her book that she created with her magic wand. So I'm gonna take some scissors and I'm going to smush my toilet paper roll in half and cut through it. So now I have two little short rings and I'm gonna take my scissors and go snip, snip, snip all the way around the edges. You don't wanna cut all the way through. You wanna keep it as a ring. And when you get all the way around, we're then going to smush out. So you can do it with your fingers or you can go like this and smush it down like that. All right, so there's one. I know that looks like sort of like a crazy octopus looking thing, but it is going to turn into a beautiful flower. Here's number two. So I'm cutting them about halfway down and trying to keep the cuts evenly spaced all the way around, but it's okay if they're not exact. In fact, when you are doing pictures and paintings of flowers and nature, it's nice not to have everything exact. It looks more realistic if you have some leaves that are a little bit different, some flower petals that go in a little bit different ways. Okay, so I've smushed all of my toilet paper rolls. I'm gonna set those aside. They're gonna get a coat of paint, but we're gonna move on to our next thing. So the next thing we're gonna use is an egg carton. Now, this is a cardboard egg carton. I don't know if the paint would stick to a plastic egg carton, so it might be best if you have a cardboard egg carton on hand. But I bet you could find some other things around the house to use if your egg carton doesn't work, like a little 
paper cup that you might drink water from in the bathroom. I'm gonna cut some of these little cups from the egg carton out so I can use them. And then I'll show you what we're gonna do with them once I get them all out. So this is definitely using your creativity, looking through your recycled materials and deciding how can I turn that into something awesome. All right, so I have these little cups, which is perfect for a type of flower that I'm going to do. So I'm gonna cut the long pieces off because they're just a little too long. And I'm gonna see how I did it curvy so it almost looks like a little flower petal. Oh, these are gonna look cute. All right, so there's one. three and here's number four and you could do more or you could do less this is just how many I'm gonna do for this project all right let me get all my scraps out of the way okay so we have I've got four little egg carton cups I've got two of my crazy looking toilet paper rolls. And now I'm going to do a bit of drawing on my newspaper because I'm going to make some flower petals on the newspaper. I'm going to take, well, I have oil pastels sitting right here. So that's what I'm going to use, but you could use any type of material or any type of drawing. And I'm gonna do a flower that has six petals. So a lot of times when I do that, I'll do a circle in the middle, and then I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Okay. I'm going to cut out, see how this is folded? This is a section of the newspaper. So it's really one big page that is folded up. And so now that's all folded, I can cut it out and it's gonna give me a couple of different flowers. Instead of having to cut each one by itself, I'll have a whole bunch to work with. And that's kind of a, a good trick of cutting. Whenever possible, fold your paper in half and get more than one copy of your shape when you're cutting something out. It saves you time and energy. All right, let's see how many that made us. Got one, two, three, four. I've got four. That's perfect. All right, so we're going to do a little bit of painting to get started, and then we will show you how to put them all together. So I'm going to lay out a newspaper just so that I can paint right on top of it. And I'm going to put out my petals here. I need to paint those. I also need to paint my little crazy looking toilet paper rolls, and I need to paint my egg carton tops. Um, I think what I'm gonna do before I cut my egg carton tops, we're gonna glue these onto paper. So we don't need our egg carton to be a full cup. We need it to be a half cup. So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut straight down the middle. So now I have two halves. Four. Six. And eight. So now I have eight little petals. That's gonna look even better. We're going to start with some yellow. So I've got my yellow paint. I, you can use craft paint. This is washable tempera paint. Um, if you didn't have paint, you could even color with crayons or oil pastels on this, but I think paint is a little bit easier. So I'm gonna start 
by painting my flowers yellow. And I like the newspaper print showing through, but if you don't like that, you can add white to your paint and then it won't show up as much because white will cover up the newsprint that's underneath a little bit better than yellow by itself. And these are gonna curl up a little bit just because it's a thin paper and we're getting it wet, but that's okay. It will still look great. Okay, I'm going to paint my last one and then I'm going to work on our toilet paper rolls. Those are gonna be yellow also. You know what, I'm gonna change my mind. I think I'm gonna make these orange. I think orange would look really good. All right, so I'm making a switch, which is what you can do when you're an artist. You can change your mind. So instead of, ooh, see, that's so much better. Instead of yellow, I'm gonna paint the centers, paint these orange. And see how I'm painting the tops and I'm painting down the inside? So we're gonna to try to get paint on all parts. And you might get messy in the process, but that's okay. That's half the fun of art. Okay, so that's pretty good. We don't need it to be super duper perfect. Let me do the other one. Ooh, I am getting messy. <laughs> I think I have more orange paint on my fingers than I do on our toilet paper roll. Okay, that part's done. I'm gonna clean my brush and then I'm going to paint my egg carton cups. So the egg carton cups, I'm going to make a blue color. I want these to turn into one of my favorite little types of flowers this time of year. It's called a bluebell flower. So I have some blue. I'm gonna add a little bit of purple. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of white to get the perfect bluebell color. There we go. All right, so I've got my little pile of my three colors. I'm gonna stir it together and see if I like the color that it made. Perfect. That looks great. Okay, now I can paint these. All right, this is the type of project where you need everything to dry, 
for just a little while so that you can finish the project without getting super messy. So I'm gonna take a break and I'll see you back when it's dry. Now that our paper is mostly dry, we can start building our flowers onto a bigger piece of paper. So I have a not too big size of white paper. This is, I think, nine by 12. So sort of the same size that you might put in your printer. And we're going to draw some flowers. Actually, we're not drawing the flowers. We're just drawing the stems of the flowers. So the first thing I'm gonna draw is a very tall stem. I want one of my flowers to be way up tall. And then, let's see, I'll do another one that's a little bit shorter. We're gonna have four flowers. So a tall one, a small one. Let's do one that comes over this way. This one's going to have these little sort of candy cane shapes coming down and the flowers sit on those. And then we're gonna do one more that's way up here. There's one candy cane shape. Let's do maybe one more up there like that. And then we can just fill it up with leaves down here. So it looks like these flowers are growing outside. So I've got a, a dark green and then I might go in with a light green. And add that just to make it beautiful and spring-like. Okay, that's what we need to do. Now we're ready to do some gluing. So let's start with our yellow flowers. Our yellow flowers are going to be daffodils. Now daffodils have the six petals and then they have like a little cup that comes out from the center. So we're gonna start by gluing down our six petals. So I'm gonna take my liquid glue, put it all over the back side. I don't feel like you have to put it on the back of the petals cause they can kind of curl up. That might look neat. So I'm gonna stick that one down and then I'm gonna do two sets of these on each flower. So we've got one layer and then I'm gonna get this one ready and I'm gonna turn it so that the layers kind of peek out from behind. I think that looks really pretty. And then I'm gonna go back and sort of flatten this out again. Remember we sort of smushed it flat and then this one, this part's gonna get a little messy. So I'm gonna take it and put some glue all around the edge of my toilet paper roll. And then I'm gonna set it down on top of the center of that flower. Now that has to sit there for a while. That's gonna take a little while to dry. Let's do our second daffodil. So I have my two flower petals. I'll put a little glue on the center of the first one, stick that down, and I don't mind that it's hanging off the page. I think that's kind of makes it look wild. And put some glue down on the center of that one. Try to make it so they peek out from behind each other. And then I get my toilet paper roll. If you're working with a parent and you had a hot glue gun, you could also hot glue gun this. But if you have plenty of time and you want it to just sit and dry, that's probably a good option. So there are daffodils. So the next one that I'm gonna try to do is called a bluebell. Now bluebells have little petals that hang down that look like bells. So what I need to do is put a little glue on the top flat edge of that egg carton shape. And I'm gonna stick it right there on the end of that stem. And then I'm gonna do a second one underneath it. I'm gonna try to get four on each of my bluebells. Because bluebells, they kind of hang down in a little cluster of bell shapes. 
Let's see if I can squeeze four into this little spot. There's the third one. There we go. All right, so we got our first little bluebell done. Let's squeeze our other little bluebell up in the corner. So there's one. It's a little tight in this spot. Eek. I may have to move a petal. There's three. And we'll squeeze the last one right here. Number four. There we go. Got four of them. All right, so that takes a lot of time to dry. So you don't want to touch it. You just want to let it sit there and it will become a beautiful recycled art masterpiece when it's all dry. Um, and you didn't have to buy any paper for it. You just used what you found in your recycling. I hope you have a great week and you enjoy making your recycled art project. And I will see you again next week. Thanks for joining me.